the second poem, I, I realized after I wrote it that it's, it's really an homage to my father, whose birthday would be this coming Saturday. Um, it, the, when I wrote this several years ago, I was thinking back to a time, to a house we lived in, uh, about 20 miles east of Buffalo. Can you imagine the winter? It's outside, outside the town of Clarence. Um, so, winter in Clarence. There it was good, even shivering in the gray mornings, dressing behind the bedroom door open almost to the wall, just enough room for a small boy to crouch before the heat register from the coal furnace in the basement, the icon before which his father made daily obeisance. <laughs> Did the man, too, shiver? and bathrobe and slippers as he descended to the coldest part of the house, turned the damper, opened the squealing door, lay then light crumpled newspaper, whet the appetite for anthracite. Were his labors an offering to Hades or to Apollo as he slid the shovel across the floor across the concrete, deep into the dark bin, turned and slung each load into the blazing iron throat. Winter after winter, he fed the day's first meal to the beast that creaked and groaned, announced with a roar, we could slide out from under three blankets. <laughs> Endure chattering teeth and goose pumps dressed behind the door. Wow. Nice. Nice.